What's up, YouTube? It's your guy, Darren, the bow tie. Fragrance guy on this channel, we talk about fragrances as well as fashion. So if you love looking good, smelling great, then I think you're going to enjoy my content. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you don't mind, go ahead and take a quick second to hit the bell icon as well to ensure you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. All right, guys, you see the title of today's video. Today is the day I'm going to be revealing a lot more information about my fragrance collection that's upcoming. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the company that I partner with uh, on this project. And I'm also going to give you guys a little bit more information on one of my fragrances, the first one. I'm going to talk about the perfumer that I work with and some of the other perfumers that I work with and some of the other projects or fragrances that they've created in the past. So this is going to be a fun video an informative video and one that I am happy to bring to your attention. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about uh, this project, my first fragrance that I want to talk about today as well as find out who are the master perfumer or perfumers that work on this first fragrance, then you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. First and foremost, I want to send a huge shout out and thank you to my partner on this project, Novitas Parfums. Listen, I know you guys have seen that Novitas has partnered with other uh, influencers on uh, YouTube and the YouTube space to come out with their own fragrances. And I want to send a huge shout out to Novitas for uh, believing and entrusting in me to uh, come up with some dynamic fragrances thank you very much novices for the opportunity i hope that i did not let you guys down uh, with the two fragrances that i came up with thank you so much for the opportunity you know i heard cuba say that the you know, novices was signing uh <laughs> signing reviewers up left and right like death row workers well if that's the case i want to introduce you to the snoop dog of this thing snoop deal double jizzle <laughs> for shizzle that's your boy bowtie fragrance guy because they added me to the uh, to roster, man. And listen, it was such an amazing experience. So I want to talk to you guys about the first fragrance uh, with this particular scent, man. I wanted to do something uh, that was fresh but sexy at the same time. Something that can be worn year round. Uh, something that can be worn on dates. Something that can be worn as a signature scent. You know, I always talk to you guys about that perfect combination man you get a nice fragrance that opens up really really fresh but then you have that sweetness uh as the fragrance kind of enters into the heart and the dry down because i really feel like that's where the magic is man you find that a lot of people are really drawn to fragrances that are fresh but have a certain level of sweetness and sophistication and that's what i was going for with this fragrance again but I did not want it to smell like anything else on the market. That's something that was really, really huge to me. So I will tell you ahead of time, although I haven't smelled every fragrance in the world, if you hear people saying this smells like this, they're probably not telling the truth <laughs> because I wanted to make sure that these fragrances were very, very unique. So with that being said, guys, I worked with two perfumers, master perfumers on this project. And the first one, guys, I am so humbled. I am so humbled to have the likes of Dominique Oropion to work with me on this project to agree, Mr. Oropion, thank you for agreeing to be a part of this project. Listen, man, I told you guys on the last video, if you talk about the Mount Rushmore of master perfumers, I guarantee you that Dominique Oropion is probably in most people's top three um, when you talk about fragrance master perfumers of all time. I mean, I'm going to give you just a rundown of some of the fragrances that he's created. And one of my absolute favorite fragrances in the world he created, and that's why I wanted to work with him on this project, was Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall. You guys know, has been following me on this channel for a while, knows how much I love Portrait of a Lady. You have that beautiful rose and patchouli combination. And although I didn't put rose in my fragrances, I know a lot of you said you thought I would use rose. I didn't. 
But because he created that fragrance, I definitely wanted to work with him. Uh, you talk about having some credibility behind your project when you can bring in the likes of Dominique Ropion uh, to work on your project. So I am definitely humbled uh, by the opportunity to have him work on this project. So thank you, Mr. Ropion, for uh, agreeing to work on this project. Now, if you guys don't know about his resume, I'm going to just run down some of the fragrances. Let's just start with some of the fragrances he's done for, for females. For females, so you guys know, he's worked, he's done uh, Flower Bomb uh, from Victor and Rolf, uh, Lady Million, which is the, uh, no, for guys, the one million counterpart uh, for females, Lady Million, and also uh, Burberry London for women. Three monstrous fragrances that he's created for women uh, in the fragrance uh, industry. And again, we want to go with another um, unisex fragrance that he did as well. Another one of my favorites from Frederick Mall, which was Carnal Flower. Now, Mr. Ropion was the perfumer on several fragrances from Frederick Mall. And you know the quality uh, that went into those fragrance offerings. If you've ever smelled uh, anything from Frederick Mall, I mean, again, I already said Portrait of a Lady. Um, and again, Carnal Flower uh, was another one that he did that, you know, again, was an amazing scent. As well as Promise, which is another prominent uh, rose-based fragrance from the house of Frederick Mall as well. So, I mean, his resume goes on and on. The designer fragrances that he's created, YSLY, uh, the EDT, as well as the EDP. Also done Invictus from Paco Rabanne. He's also done Lan We De Lome from YSL, as well as Lome Ultim, as well as the original Lome. So, I mean, look, this resume, this guy's resume goes on and on. So to, again, just to say, that he's been a part of this project. Listen, that gives, listen, if you guys had any question about uh, the validity of the project that I was working on, listen, Dominique Ropion wouldn't put his name on the line for something that wasn't good. Not only good, something that was great. And I know for a fact that we delivered a great fragrance uh, with this first fragrance offering. Now, in addition to uh, Dominique Ropion, they also had another great up and coming master perfumer that's done a lot of more recent work uh, in the industry, Mr. Julian Raskinet. Now, he also did the fragrances for CJ City. Uh, he does, in my opinion, he does these fresh fragrances really, really, really well. And he also contributed to this particular fragrance as well. He's done fragrances like uh, more recently here, like Enclave from Amouage, uh, which is a beautiful, very unique scent. Uh, the Moon from Frederick Mall, which is a very, very complex scent. Uh, that he did for Frederick Mall and also to back Rose from BDK Parfums. Just to name a few, uh, some of the fragrances that he's worked on here in the more recent history. So the two of those guys together put together the perfect fragrance uh, based on what I wanted uh, in this scent. And you guys are going to love this fragrance. I talked about the opening. I wanted the opening to be kind of fresh and then have that sweet, seductive vibe that comes into play. And again, it's something that you're going to be able to wear year round, guys, and I'm sure you're going to love it. In the opening, we have some, some bergamot, we have some lemon, and that a very, very sexy, a spicy cardamom. I love the note of cardamom, and I wanted to, it's one of the notes I wanted to make sure I had uh, in this fragrance. And again, I won't go through all the notes, but some other notes in here. I talked to you guys before, you have that nice, beautiful, sweet toffee in the middle of this scent, as well as some almond. Uh, almond is a note as well, through my experience, that really works well when you pair it with something like caramel or toffee. And that's something that I want to be uh, present in this fragrance as well. And as the fragrance dries down, you're going to get a little bit of cinnamon and musk. So guys, this is an amazing fragrance. Again, you're going to be very, very pleased with it. It's captivating. It's very sexy. But it's one that can be wear, worn year round. So I cannot wait for you guys to be able to get your hands on this in a few in the upcoming weeks and have a chance to smell this and hopefully add it to your collection. But guys, that's it. That's my time. I just wanted to come on and give you guys an update on the partnership and who I'm working with and give you a little bit of background on this first fragrance, what I wanted to accomplish with it, the kind of scent that I wanted to be, and also of course the perfumer who or perfumers that I work with on this particular scent. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you took a few moments to watch, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget, guys, to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, 
and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy. Darren, the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.